We're gonna see how this shit turns out, man. Out here driving to my mom's house. Mom stays out in Manteca. Go spend the night over there. Go see what's up with my mama. Um, I typed out some of the questions y'all had on the uh, on the Facebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer a few of those for you. First one was uh, from the boy E Dog. He said, "How did I get the name, Mr. Key?" First of all, my name was uh, my first first name was Kid Kilo, K I D K I L O, Kid Kilo, and uh, then I dropped the kid part and whatever. Then it was just Kilo, but uh, there was this cat from Fillmore. This cat from Fillmore, uh, he came out with his album first before my first album, Ultimate High, and his name was Key, uh, Kilo, and it was K uh, K E Y L O. And uh, so I was like, man, you know, he came out with the album first, so I wasn't even tr tripping on it. Plus, nobody, nobody on the block, anyways, called me Kilo. Everybody was like, hey, hey, Key, hey, Key. Everybody called me Key, anyway, so it was just easy to switch up. And then I added the Mister, but I mean, never really liked the Mister. But that's when everybody was doing Little Something or Sir Something or King Something or Mister Something. So it ended up Mister Key. But uh, yeah, that's that's that right there. E dog, my nigga E dog, what's up? Um, second one is uh from Alex Alvarado. He said, uh, is there gonna be any features on my last album? Um, as far as features, see, it's it's hard because some of y'all be like, hey man, do no features this time, or or you guys want hella features? You know what I mean? That that just shows you can't you can't uh you can't please everybody at once. I mean, at the same time or whatever, however the fuck that saying goes, you can't please everybody. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna have a few features on here, here, here and there, sprinkled out throughout the album. You know, what I mean, nothing crazy. Uh, trying to get a couple cats that I didn't really get to work with back in the days, like uh, on my Forty K Dreams or or any of my other albums. So I'm gonna try to sprinkle a couple of my last little, you know, cats that I would like to work with, and um, it's always gonna have my little the the, the squad on it. Um, Soldiers of Fortune here and there, but uh, yeah, it, it'll be it'll be a good little mixture. And that was from uh, Alex, and he also uh, mentioned Fe. He said uh, he liked the album Fe and whatever. But uh, that, that's my boy Dutch and um, Dab Daniel. Right on, man, for, for that little shout out. But uh, and then uh, Loretta, Loretta Arandondo. This shit's hard and trying to drive at the same time. <laughs> Arandondo, I guess. Sorry if I fucked up your last name, man, but uh, uh, she said, when am I doing a show in SAC? I ain't, I ain't really been doing those shows lately. Shit, I ain't done a show in fuck, over over a year. Um, that's part of the reason. There's another question, too. Another cat asked me, but that'll be part of that reason. Uh, man, shows and, and features and stuff like that, man. They, if you ain't talking bread, man, I ain't coming out the house. If you ain't talking the right bread, I ain't coming out the house. You know, a lot of cats try to try to bullshit you and, hey, man, just, you know, this is good uh, promotion and publicity and blah, 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 man. Fuck you. Fuck you. How about that? Pay me, nigga. That's, that's been the problem. That's the problem with, with Bay Area in, in general because we all hustlers out here. We all motherfucking hustlers, which is good. But, damn, we trying to hustle each other, basically, when it comes down to it. You feel me? Pay, pay somebody the, what, what you feel they worth, man, for real. And, and you'll get some quality shit. But anyway, let me see another one. Oh, Anthony Lopez said, how do I get a verse from you? That's back to the same thing, man, just money. Shoot me some money, holler at me, shoot me, a, shoot me a little inbox, we'll work it out, man. I'll work with your budget. You know, I ain't trying to kill nobody. This ain't, this ain't my, my main, uh, main form of money. So I ain't really tripping too much, but it's just like, man, come at me respectable. And, and we'll work something out. What else we got? What makes you want to hang up the mic? That was the question I was going to get to. And that's from Elwin McLean. That's back to the whole, you know, shows and uh, and verses and and the whole the whole situation with man, just how just how dirty the game is, man. I I did this shit since I was 12 years old. Loved it. Loved hip hop. 
straight up and down, like wrote lyrics down from every every all my favorite rappers and you know wanted to wanted to be just like them, wanted to be better than them, wanted to wanted to uh wanted to put my name in the history books, you know what I mean? Cause I love this shit. I was bleeding this shit. But people that come in the game and fuck it up by you know, there, there's people in this fucking game that don't deserve shit. Don't even fucking deserve to sell one album. Don't even deserve to be a, a promoter, a fucking a, a, a producer, own a fucking studio, own a fucking record label, any of that. Because you motherfuckers are fucking pieces of shit. You know what I mean? Like, and 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 these cats know who they are. And it's not it's not even like I'm really talking from all the way my experience, just just me, solo experience, just seeing shit, just seeing shit. You know, I, I've had an okay experience with most of the cats I've dealt with, but seeing other shit go down and, and uh, shit like that made me like, man, this game is fucked up. And it makes you not love it as much, you know what I mean? Because people take, take shit for granted that you do. And I feel like I was, still am, one of the, one of the, one of the best at it, you know what I mean? So it's like respect, respect mine, respect, respect what the fuck we do. And this shit just ain't easy, this shit just don't come I mean, yeah, it does come naturally <laughs> for some of us, at least. But you know what I mean. You still gotta, you still gotta put in the work. You know what I mean. So don't, don't think that what the fuck we doing ain't work, and 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 we ain't putting in, uh, putting in our blood, sweat, and tears in this shit. You know what I mean. That's that's all, that's about, man. So that's that's what made me like turned off about the game. And uh, we got my boy E Flow. My boy E Flow said, uh, "How do you pick a beat, or do you have rhymes already first? Uh, Shit, I, my whole thing, I never, I never have a rhyme first because, uh, like, how the fuck can you just, you know, write raps to nothing, you know what I mean? I gotta have that feeling. So it's always with the beat. The beat gives me that feeling. Shit, I'm listening to beats right now. These are just, these are just straight, straight beats that I'm riding to instrumentals, just, that shit gives me the feeling to uh, to write what I want to write, and it's like the beat talks to me. The beat tells me what the fuck to rap about, what the song's gonna be about. You know what I mean? So that's how I get my vibe. That's my boy E Flow asked me that. He he seen me in the he seen me in the booth, man. I fuck with E Flow. Uh, what else we got? What happened to Fe? From Joel Barrera. What happened to Fe? Uh, Nothing really happened at FE. I mean, we, we had we had our differences or whatever, but it wasn't really no no uh <clears throat> no crazy. It's it's like this, man. I got I did Soldiers of Fortune. We did FE. Um, I've always done always done plenty of uh little group titles and shit and flipped them back and forth. And uh, I've always been a solo artist, so I, I never claimed to be like in a group. A group artist, anyway. So it's not, it's not like uh, anything happened, man. It's just we did what we did, and uh, man had a lot of fun doing it. But you know, at the end of the day, I'm always going to be a solo artist. So, uh, my, like I said, my boy Dutch, my boy Dap Daniel, they, they did their thing. You know what I mean? They, they, uh, shit, that shit was crazy. Anyway, <clears throat> they all did their thing, and uh, like I said, we had fun doing it, man, and. Uh, and they're solo artists too, or you know, they, they got what they got going on. Big ass truck next to me. I'm trying to talk to y'all. <laughs> uh, anyways, man, fuck everybody. Shout out to FE. Fuck everybody. Fuck everybody means everybody. Let me see what else I got. Man, I got two fucking papers. Okay, wait. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One more thing. This ain't even a question. It's just a uh, Christian Mora. Christian Mora, what's up, man? Glad you a fan, homie. I fucks with you. I fucks with. I fucks with you if you fuck with me, man. Shout out to you, homie. Big shout out. And the last question is from uh, from my boy uh, Seymour Cash, aka Mugs Money, one of the cats I fucked with, uh, with the Soldier of Fortune thing or whatever. But uh, it's a it's you can see it on the Facebook thing. He asked me, have you ever have Mr. Key? Have you ever picked your pony? And it's funny because it was just a little inside joke. But uh, I might as well get that out there too. It was uh, we was fucking around at my boy Rick's house. Had some bitches. Shh, don't tell nobody. Had some bitches, and um, I ended up fucking with this one chick. And uh, I was I was getting greedy. Fucked around with this one chick. Got greedy. Started trying to talk to this other chick. After I fucked around with the other chick, and uh, she tried to hit me with, "Hey, Miss, oh, don't even try to talk to me, Mister Key. You picked your pony." 
I thought that was the funniest shit ever. You picked your fucking pony. I was like, damn. So she tried to uh, try to give me the cold shoulder after that or whatever. But it is what it is. Right on mugs. See y'all. All right, man. Um, shit. And and like I said, uh, I, I I answered a couple of these questions or whatever. Sorry if I didn't get to too much detail on them or whatever. But uh, there will there is gonna be a fucking um. Uh, there is going to be a, a, a documentary coming, and that's that's a that's going to be solid. Documentary. I already talked to talked to my couple of my people, and we're going to be uh, we're going to be filming. Matter of fact, we're going to be filming this Saturday. Uh, first cat I'm gonna go grab is a uh, Duke Shiesty. Y'all might have heard of Duke Shiesty. He was on ITBG way back. ITBG 14K Dreams. Little Duke Shiesty. La da 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 da. Sha da da. Yeah, y'all know that one. Um, I'm gonna interview him. Uh, then another one of my cats, P. Milski. I'm gonna interview him this Saturday, all before the fight. Uh, who's who's gonna win the fight? Y'all better not got no money on Triple G. You know who's gonna win the motherfucking fight. Uh, anyways, that's all going down this weekend, man. Then I'm gonna be out there at that Raider game, tailgating first game, watch Beast Mode kill, run motherfuckers over and shit, so if y'all out there at the game, man, come look for me, man, I'm gonna be walking around, I ain't gonna really tailgate this time, I'm walking around with a bottle and, and come check y'all out, alright, I'm out this motherfucker.